YouTube. Hello, YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. This is Melinda with Miss Linda's Kitchen. Guys, y'all know how I do. I get straight into the video. Today, I'll be preparing for you salmon, grilled salmon on a stovetop. Um, y'all know how I do. I just get straight into the video. We're going to start with a, um, a nice sized piece of salmon skin on the back. Um, you can kind of rake it with a knife to to make to debone it to make sure there isn't any bone in it. Um, you want to start off with a clean piece of fish. You want to pat it dry. Okay. You're gonna need a tablespoon of olive oil or vegetable oil, just a high temp oil, where it won't, you know, burn. Um, I have one tablespoon of skin, one tablespoon of unsalted butter. I have my stove on medium high heat. I'm gonna place the one tablespoon of butter inside the grease. Um, I'm gonna sprinkle, I have a tablespoon of salt. I mean a teaspoon, I'm sorry guys, a teaspoon that I'm gonna sprinkle generously over the top of the salmon. I have also have black pepper that I'm gonna to top over the top of it. I might add just a little bit more salt on this side. A little bit more black pepper. I love black pepper, guys. Salt and pepper pairs, pairs well. You're going to flip both sides. Yes, I see it in the back side of my, um, of my salmon. I want seasoning on both sides. And, this, and I'm going to just pat that on in the back of the skin. And a little bit more black pepper on the top and that's gonna go and then we're gonna just make sure that it's, we have it on medium high heat we're gonna take it up just a little bit more guys so we can get that quick sear what you want to do is you want to sear this on both sides for three to four minutes on both sides. Okay. And what I like to do is I like to put this side, the front side, the meaty side. Oh, um, no. I'm going to place the skin side down. I'm sorry. I'm going to place the skin side down. Just like that. And we're just going to go fast. And I'm cooking this in a, I think it's a Seven inch cast iron skillet. You can use all or you can use half of your seasoning. I like to use um, pretty much all of my seasoning. So when I do um, um, a piece of salmon, make sure guys that you you um, are frying this on the skin side down. I would say do it for about three minutes. And the um, flesh side, I would say do it four minutes. Cause, and it also depends on the thickness of your fish. So you may need to do the skin side, the um, the flesh side, down for about four to five minutes. But just remember to don't flip this until it's actually cooked about three to four minutes on either side. So then you get that nice sear on the bottom of the fish. And what you can do as it's cooking on one side, just make sure that you um, you fry this on. You can just place butter on the top. And be careful, guys, because it will pop up on you if you have too much. And also lessen your, 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 your liquids. I wouldn't say... Um, this will be my first time doing it on on video, but um, I thought I, I need needed more oil and butter because of the um, the thickness of the fish. So I would say cut both of them in half. Do half um, tablespoon of butter and a half tablespoon of olive oil or vegetable oil, just a high temp oil, so that it won't um, so it won't pop up for one, and, and you won't have a whole lot of oil in the 
And you also can pour some of the oil off, which is probably what I'm going to do in a little while, in a few minutes. But guys, you all asked me for this recipe, asked me to show you all how to do. I had a lot of um, requests on how to, um, how I grill my salmon and I just thought, I just um, seared in a pan of cast iron skillet. And be sure guys, you want three to four minutes on um, I lay my skin side down first so that it can sear at the back. Um, be sure to, to, to just grill it four to five minutes. No, three to five. Well, for this thickness, this is about a, maybe a quarter inch thick or half inch thick maybe. Um, and so you, I would say sear it a little longer. But you'll, you'll know. You'll know on either side. You'll, you'll know when it's done. It doesn't take long. Um, three to four minutes on either side, that's it for a salmon. I mean, that's, that's just it. Three to four minutes, um, maybe five, depending on the thickness, but nothing longer than that. Or you'll have um, rubbery um, fish, and, and, and you don't want that. Trust me, you don't want that. You can take your skillet, your um, spatula, and just look on the side, on the back, and see. We can flip this now. Yeah, we can flip it. Cause it's actually done um, about three minutes already on, on the skin side. And you see, that's kind of what you want. You want your skin to be kind of crispy. Like, you really want it to be crispy. And that's crispy. And I just take the, the butter and the... And I just spoon a little bit of that on top of... The fish, the salmon, I'm sorry. And then you just wait until it sears. Um, on this side, it should be about four minutes max. I would say about four minutes. Because um, I've realized that it's not that thick. And also, you'll see on the side where the fish is um, turning like a, a whitish. It went from pink, but it's going to like a whitish, um, rose pink looking color. That'll kind of help you indicate you know, the doneness of the fish. But as I've stated, you just, you know, you just kind of, and you also can use a uh, thermometer and check the temperature on that way, but um, I would say you wouldn't need enough thermometer, just four to five, four to five minutes, depending on, i say three to four minutes on either side, but if you have a thick piece of salmon, then five minutes max. Is what I'm what I'm saying. So, yeah, guys. And this is a good way to fry up salmon, too. And it's really it's a really quick meal because what you can do is with this, you can sear it, you can season how you wanna. Um, it's all it's all about your taste. Um, I like a little more salt than others um, sometimes, and um, our our taste buds may vary. But the, the most thing is to just make sure that you add enough seasoning for the salmon. But you also, you don't want to take away the taste of the fish itself, the salmon itself. So you want to remember that. You want to stick to um, the fish being still, you want it to be tender and flaky. So that's why I say, please don't overcook the fish. Because if you overcook the fish, you have ruined the fish, um, the salmon. And um, it, it's not a real good, good you know, wouldn't, wouldn't be good. Um, I think we're at our fourth four mark. And I flip it on the side also. And I let it sear, cook a little bit on the side. You see how beautiful brown that um, that sound weird guy. I let it cook on both sides. Salmon and um, this is this is my my video guys. 
I'll bring it to you. But those ain't have the questions, so I'm giving it to you guys. Rip it back down. And we're going to tear this other side here. See how beautiful that 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 um that side is, guys. I hope you guys can really see that. This is definitely something that you would, um, it's, it's very healthy, it's very hearty. Okay. Okay, now we're going to flip it one more time. Because it, this part of my salmon hasn't, um, hasn't seared pretty good because it's, it wasn't level. So it wasn't, that flip side wasn't, um, flying. But after we do this, this is pretty much a done piece of fish. perfect it's perfect and you can feel the fish we're done the salmon is done guys i want you to see what it actually looks like it's beautiful yes and so i'm just gonna get a little bit of that now here's the time for the magic I'm gonna place a piece of butter over the top. And what we can also do, um, I'm gonna show you guys something that, that I do from time to time. You can take the salmon off the, the stove. And in order to melt the butter, you just put, you can put a, to trap that heat in. So we're gonna take that, that, that uh, butter off the, and let it melt down on the fish. See how beautiful that is? Oh, guys, look how gorgeous that is. And so, we're going to do it like that for a minute. We're going to get our plate together so that, yeah. Take it off the heat. Place it right there so that butter can kind of melt on top. And we also and if you also, if you like garlic like me, guys, I have a little bit of garlic here. And I just will dab a little bit of that across the salmon. Just a little bit. You see, I like, I like garlic. So. See? That's what that looks like. Now, now I'm gonna plate it for you guys. Oh, and also, I have a little bit of lemon wedge. Let me show you. Uh, I have a little bit of, when it's done, I just squeeze the lemon across, just a little bit of the lemon juice across the top of the, the uh, the salmon. And here goes plate guys. Okay. Here's the fish, guys. The salmon. I'm sorry. And you just And that's our salmon. That is the salmon, guys. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Comment, like, subscribe. Share with your family and your friends. Don't
don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Please stay safe, guys. Wear your mask. Please, please wear your mask. We're still in the, in, um, the pandemic. I've heard that numbers have, have risen. Guys, be safe. Wear your mask. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe with your family and your friends. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you so much. Oh, guys, thank you so much for the 1K subscribers. I have reached a milestone, guys, a major milestone. So I'm very, very happy about that. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord God. Thank you for all the people who watch me on a daily basis. Thank you, guys, for just allowing me to share my gift with you. Thank you so much. You guys are everything. Yes. Thank you so much. God bless you. God bless you.